Turkey Maniac Television is brought to you by these fine sponsors and supporters. Anderson RC, your full service hobby shop. E-Step Livestock Supply. Joe's Taxidermy, preserving memories of a lifetime. P. Ramsor Landscaping. Carolina Firearm Coatings, protecting your firearms with a customized, unique finish. What's up everybody? Welcome to this edition of Turkey Maniac Television. On today's episode, we're going to be replenishing some of my mineral salt holes. It's mid-summer right now, extremely hot, July. I've had my mineral uh, salt holes out for quite some time now because the does are going to be nursing young deer throughout the year and the bucks are going to be growing their antlers back. So they're going to need all the minerals that they can get. And minerals, you know, are kind of tough to come by, especially, you know, depending on which area of the country that you live in. So today we're at Tractor Supply Store. I'm gonna be mixing my own deer minerals where we can get about 100 pounds for just over 20 something dollars. So come on, let me show you what I'm gonna get to mix my own minerals. We're at Tractor Supply Store and we're gonna make it happen. Guys, we're here in the back of Tractor Supply Store. Um, I'm here with the cattle mineral in that particular area of the store. That's what we use when I do my mixes for my deer minerals to get that 100 pounds. 50 pounds of it is just going to be pure general purpose cattle mineral. If you look right here, I have a 50 pound bag of producer's pride general purpose cattle mineral. It's got a really high content of the different minerals you need for your deer to get a healthy herd going. So we're going to go find the white salt now and what we're going to do is mix the cattle mineral with the 50 pound bag of white salt. Boom! 100 pounds of some of the best deer mineral that you can put in the woods. Guys, now we're over here at the salt. It's just a 50 pound bag of pure white salt. Right here. The cost is only $6.99. And the uh, cattle, the general purpose mineral, the cattle mineral, is only $14.99. Do the math, it's just over $20 with taxes. You get 100 pounds of deer mineral. So we're going to go in the field, we're going to mix this, we're going to replenish you know, some of my salt holes. They've already been getting hit pretty hard. I'll show you some pictures of deer uh, that I got on my trail cam that's already hitting the salt holes so you can see the effectiveness of it versus the price. But one thing I do want you to keep in mind that. Um, I'm not knocking the other deer minerals and products out there. I mean, I use Trophy Rock, I use Lucky Buck, I use a host of other minerals as well. But this system right here that I just showed you and will be showing you in the video, I mean, it actually works really well if you're extremely economically minded and want to keep the minerals out. You have a large tract of land and uh, a lot of mineral holes to refill every six to eight weeks to keep them, you know, with fresh minerals throughout the summer. It can get costly. So this is just some tips for the cost-minded person. <laughs> it reminds you, I also am a blue-collar worker myself, so this tip goes for me as well. But anyway, let's get on out here and get in the field and shake what we put together. Got my cattle mineral in the front. Well, I took a little time just to socialize with the staff over at Tractor Supply Store. They're used to seeing me come in buying things and, you know, friendships develop over time. So to start things off, I usually mix about 10 pounds at a time. 10 pounds of white salt and about 10 pounds of general purpose cattle mineral. And then I stir it up really well using my stir stick and then I'll deposit it in my mineral site. You got to make sure you get it stirred up really well. When I place it out in my mineral sites, I usually try to choose locations that's deep and secluded in the woods in areas with very little human traffic so the deer can get comfortable coming to these mineral sites all during the different times of the day. This mineral site was started not too long ago and has already been cleared out and worn down. So it's time for me to go ahead and replenish it again. I try to replenish my mineral sites about every six to eight weeks just to keep them fresh. Again, if you'll notice, this site is in a secluded area where the deer feel comfortable coming to it. After mixing the mix together, all you have to do is just pour it out on top of the ground. But to make it seem a little bit more natural, 
I'll take a stick and mix it in with the dirt a little bit just to kind of make it have a more natural feel and appearance and smell. Here are a few pictures of deer that are coming into my mineral sites. Uh, does, bucks, different times of year, different size deer, and different stages of growth. It's very effective, has worked well for me for some time now, and I definitely recommend that you give it a try and see how it works out for you. Well guys, I hope this advice was a little bit helpful for you. Like I said, there's a lot of good minerals on the market that you can use, but just to get a bang for your dollar, bugs, summertime, mineral time. But anyway, just to get a bang for your buck, I just wanted to show you how to get about 100 pounds of deer mineral for just over 20-ish dollars. And so that's what I use, that's the blend that works for me. You saw from some of the trail camera pictures that I showed you, the deer, they really pulverize my mineral holes. Uh, one thing you have to just always remember is get your mineral out early enough when the does are gonna need it, when they have young that they are nursing, and the bucks are gonna be needing it when they're growing their antlers back. But anyway, God bless, be safe in the woods, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you. Cut.